how did this all start and what was it at the beginning like for you? I was so excited I could hardly stand it. When you first started. It's the most, yeah, the most exciting uh, thing I have ever done. There was approach to do self-protection for women at the YWCA. Believe it or not, way back then there were the same things going on that are going on right mm -hmm. now. And I went to, I decided I needed some self-protection. And uh, my brothers taught me lots of things. God love them, and my dad, they taught me lots of dirty tricks. <laughs> things and you then, needed to use with them, against you know, them? What they knew, you know. <laughs> and then when I went to visit Ray and Marie Law, Professors mm -hmm. Ray and Marie Law, they took me in, and uh, I watched the classes, and I thought, this is it. So I joined their classes, studied with them, wonderful people. To, I went from jujitsu to self-protection oh, okay. because I believed that I would see women that quit jujitsu because uh -huh. it was too hard on them, uh -huh. or maybe they didn't like the way they were be tre being treated on the mat. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much at, uh, at laws; they were very good. They had a, a women's course, and that women's course was self-protection. Mm -hmm. So I kind of leaned in that direction, mm -hmm. you see. And then when I was approached to do self-defense. I changed the name to Self-Protection Studio for my school because self-defense sounded like battle, you know, and most women were shy away from it. Mm -hmm. They didn't like it, so the best way to get to the women was to say you need to learn to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-protection. So I was 10 years at the YWCA in Oakland, and then the students approached me and said, we want to go further. We want to study jujitsu. So that's when I split up the classes and we had self protection class and advanced class. And the advanced class was Jiu Jitsu. So I guaranteed to take them to their green belts and that's it. I said, You want to go any further than that? I'll get you ready for a school and you go somewhere else. Because I didn't want to get involved in the, the Jiu Jitsu part. I was teaching Jiu Jitsu now. Don't misunderstand me, it was all Jiu Jitsu but it was brought in not as a martial art, it was brought in as a uh, form of self-protection. So the whole, the headset was different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joe, or is that well, the students at the Y wanted to go on and they asked if I'd start a school. Mm -hmm. And I said yes, if mm -hmm. uh, they guaranteed me they'd stay with me for six months. At $16 a month, I would take that step, which I did. And they did. You get the Elaines and Betty O's and all those people in the, in the, uh, from the Y. Yeah. Did. I wanted to live long enough to see one of them pass me up, is what I had hoped to see. But it uh, didn't happen. They stayed longer. Uh, they, they stayed longer than I thought they would. Mm -hmm. But they spent a lot of time at the, at the, jo at the dojo helping the new teachers and giving their services to the school, especially Bet. I think Betty would have stayed there and fallen down dead on the mat if she could. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful instructors. Just wonderful yeah. instructors. So that's pretty much it. It, it. Putting it in a nutshell. Yeah. Oh, this was exciting today. Yeah. I loved it. Can you yeah. tell us so about today? Like, is it today, I was out there on the mat. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was out there doing all those things, you know. I'm going to be sore tonight. <laughs> In your mind. In my yeah. mind. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And I always have to say thanks to my students because they taught me how to teach them. Well, if you don't have students, you can't be a teacher, mm -hmm. right? What good is a teacher without students? And I'm always very uh, humble to my students. Yes. My pleasure. <laughs> and that's it, isn't it? Anything else? Anything that you would want to say to someone who who's not involved in this at all, but you you know? Who doesn't, just some young woman who wants to feel a little safer and more in her body. Um, yeah, don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Take a step and take a little bit of self-protection. Mm -hmm. Don't get into a martial art in your mind. Get into self-defense or self-protection. Get a different headset. But for goodness sake, learn how to take care of yourself. Common sense. You know. <laughs>